sometimes tranquility feels like an airliner. I tried to fart into the mic. <laughs> if you close your eyes, you can picture silence. It didn't sound like much. And you can hear colors. But it's starting to smell. <laughs> Such is the beginning of night attack. I might have shit myself. <laughs> and so, imagine, if you will, yourself in the heart of Diamond Dragon Land Con. Everybody, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. We're definitely not going to leave. Don't worry. <laughs> no. We're I very know. probably not going to leave. We're almost definitely and not or walking hide. to the door. <laughs> this is shh. Imagine you're at the Marriott Hotel. Atlanta. Atlantis of Atlantis. <laughs> the lost continent of Georgia. <laughs> and there you are in the heart of geek fandom. Ah. ah. Isn't it great? Is that a Deadpool? Oh, what's this? It's Sunday night. Where oh. will you go? Uh, to hell? <laughs> no, you'll not be at the Hyatt. <laughs> You'll be at all, all, all beef is local. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want to do night attack? Hey, let's do night attack. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> yep. This violates our terms of service! <laughs> uh, Brian, are you just getting shit ready for the toe fetishes? Or like, yeah. oh, it's after 10 o'clock, we can curse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get a fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Say yeah. something racist! <laughs> That close. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> it is our last show. Uh, what, what is it, eight years, seven years? How long has it been? I don't know. <laughs> eight years, eight whole years, Dragon Con. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna go out with a bang. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and get ready. Our uh, master services, we uh, have been working on this show for a very, very long time. This was something we had to go through a lot of different uh, levels for, but we got the mayor to bless our proceedings here today. Can we please get a big round of applause for Mayor McCheese? <laughs> mayor McCheese is handing out cheeseburgers. These are real cheeseburgers. All right, we've done, what, seven, eight years, and we've always done the in NSFW slash Night Attack yeah. uh, cosplay showdown, Thunderdome. Yeah. Let's let's pick uh, who's in costume for anything, literally anything. Stand up if you're in a costume. Stand up. Yeah. Stand up if you're in a costume. Right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's do Shredder, who I think you've seen before. Uh, <laughs> Professor <laughs> Elemental, only at a community college. Uh, uh, we got we got uh, Mr. Boogie Woogie Man right over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, come, come on up, all you guys. Come on up. Uh, 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 unicorn Luchador guy. Uh, the uh, uh, we got uh, some uh, Space Jam. Let, let's get Space Jam bugs. Yeah, uh, both of them. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So we, we, we gotta pick out, uh, there we go, uh, and, and, uh, you're, you're, what, uh, diva. Uh, well, I mean, but as a, as a Japanese cop, or? <laughs> right on, got it, all right. It's a skin of diva, we got the Riddler. Okay, so normally, we always, you know, judge costumes based on the characters that they are portraying. So this time, we thought it would be fun to change all the rules and instead judge you guys entirely based on impressions you could do of characters that appeared on our horseshit show. Uh, yeah. Justin. Yeah. G give, give me a, uh, uh, drop that beat. What do you got? All right. Uh, let, let's go ahead and start over here yep. with uh, uh, Bugs Bunny. Uh, number one, do you listen to our show? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Even better. Even better. Already has a standing ovation. Okay. So we're gonna give you a character. You just gotta do your best guess as what this character is. <clears throat> uh, and she can help, she can help. Okay, 
Uh, your character is, I'm going to hand you the mic, I'm going to step away, you're going to be asked questions by Justin, and you have to answer as the yes man. And go. Oh, hey. Uh, how's your Dragon Con? Yes. <laughs> uh, do you think that this is a hype crowd? Yeah, buddy. No. One more time. Okay, I got it. Do you think this is going to be a good show tonight? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> all right, all right, pretty good. Let's pass the mic, pass the mic. Uh, Brian, you go ahead and pick this one. Uh, okay, you have to be Bonnie the Invisible Wife. Uh, have a discussion, there we go. Here we go. Okay. Hey, Bonnie, what's going on? Oh, uh, not much. <laughs> Uh, how's the pottery coming? No, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, strong, strong. All right, uh, how about this one? You are Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, Captain Morgan, go for it. Uh, oh no, Brian, you need to talk to Captain Morgan. You're 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 the one who talks to Captain. Morgan. Captain, 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 Captain. Arr! <laughs> Listen, what's your beef with the sun? Fuck, I don't know. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Uh Shredder, uh I, I you, you give you give one here. Uh Ira Sockman. Ira Sockman. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Sockman, I, I, I need a little bit of advice. We, we, we just bought what se uh, seven acres of what might be a cult compound. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> what, what, uh, wh how, much, how much does the backstory of a legitimate piece of land matter when it comes to s forming a new business? <laughs> I don't know this one. <laughs> is it, what I like is that he did the sock puppet thing, <laughs> but didn't know the voice. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry, I uh, don't know this character. <laughs> My name is uh, Fake Impressionman. <laughs> <laughs> Just do me a favor, pretend he's not here. <laughs> uh, all right, it's a uh, catchphrase from the guy. All right. Luch uh, Luchador uh, Von Well, here, you, uh, wanna, you, wanna, you wanna know what? Let's do this one as a heads off. Like just these two, Who, whoever does the better, the best one wins. Is the champion? The champion. Okay, because all right, you all guys right. did good. This was okay. Okay, you're low key a real favorite. Okay. So 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 uh, uh, real quick, what was your name? I'm Alex. Alex is gonna go first. He's gonna go as uh, let's pick another co-host. Uh, give me your best, Jason Murphy. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's have him go after. Yeah, you think? Okay, I right. think yeah. you're gonna be Jason Murphy. So, 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 work in, work in yeah, your yeah. best, Jason Murphy. Okay, and uh, Unicorn Von Lucha Mask. Uh, oh, I know who. Let's do Fraud Merritt. <laughs> Tom Merritt. <laughs> all right, all right, go ahead, go ahead. All right, here we go, here we go. And go. Hey. It's the Daily Tech News Show. I'm Tom Merritt. <laughs> Tom Merritt? What the fuck? That was a pretty good impression. Alex? <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, I'm Jason Murphy. I'm going to go throw stuff at Justin. <laughs> All right, so. Let's have a round so, of applause. So, so, round of applause. Who thought Tom's impression was better? <laughs> <laughs> Who thought Jason's impression was better? Alex. 
All right. Uh, sir, you can have a seat. You're going to join us on the panel. It'll be great. Yes, Kenny. Big round of applause for everybody. Woo! That's good. Thank you. Definitely am covered in spit. <laughs> yeah. It turns out when you have an idea a half, uh, 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 two hours ago to spit in each other's faces, <laughs> it's a lot wetter than you think. Tom, get the fuck on up here. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Merritt. Woo! Now, for those of you who don't grok the magnitude of this, Tom Merritt has not been a guest at DragonCon for the past two years, three, three years, years, four years? Three years. Uh, three years. Uh, he flew across the country in just secret. to be here in this room right now, tonight. Let's give a big round of applause. We Dude legit wore a luchador mask all day like he was in Mexico City <laughs> trying to keep it kayfabe. It was uh, uh, super awesome. And in fact, I'll tell you what. Uh, one person. Yeah. One, one, yeah. One, no, one, keep going. It's great. It's great. One, keep, one, keep going. One, one, <laughs> keep there going. we go. Good. One, going. one person said, what, one, that's Justin's one. luchador mask <laughs> in the politics, politics, politics battle. And then one other person, I don't know if they want me to bust them, came up and was like, I'm really happy about your house, man. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> Somebody busted you? Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Right before the panel. No! Like, just through the eyes in the, in the mask hole. Yeah, let's shame someone, that person. Who can, was it? Turns out that they're really the doorway to the soul. If, if you want me to bust you, raise your hand. <laughs> Waffleophagus, ladies and gentlemen. Waffleophagus. That was privileged information, and you're a betrayer, and you don't get to sleep in our shared room tonight. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, while we're welcoming guests, let's go ahead and welcome uh, one of our favorite guests every single year. Ladies and gentlemen, you know them by their hit singles, including Treat Me Like a Pirate and Give Me That Booty, <laughs> including Smang It. Including sex syrup, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and have you all cheer until your voices are sore for Turquoise G. Yo, 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 yo. G, 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 G. All right, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I'm talking out of school, but you told me a story that I can't resist sharing because it's too good. Yeah. Uh, you told me, Justin, uh -huh. and I am telling out of school yeah. what you told me. Yeah, that I cheated on my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Flint Flossie has been recognized uh, in disguise. In disguise as a person who doesn't have a legitimate mustache, with Fl which Flint Flossie definitely has a real mustache. It was real. Yeah. That's right. Baby. I heard tell a story uh -huh. that there was somebody else who, who was, was not who was, you. Who was not Flint Flossie. Who Plossie, was not Flint Flossie. Who right, was right. recognized at a coffee shop. And all I could imagine. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it couldn't be Flint Flossie because that person didn't have Because that person a doesn't exist, right? Uh, but that uh, all I could imagine in that instance is that person looked the stranger right in the eyes and just said, no, baby, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I do know that Flint Flossie is a great <laughs> rapper and an amazing <laughs> dancer. <laughs> also, have you found his new album? <laughs> uh, you can't confirm or deny that because you weren't there. But True, I was not there. I was yeah. This is true. <laughs> baby. <laughs> How are you guys doing? You guys just got off tour. Uh, literally, your last show was two nights ago. Yeah. In in uh, Atlanta, back home. It was home? two nights ago at uh, Terminal West. We had a good time. I mean, some people were out there who are here. Yeah, I see one hand back there. Yeah, I see some hands back there. Yeah, they came to the show. Keeping the Jeep riding in the back. Hey. <laughs> so it was a good time. We just got off tour. It was like uh, we did 18 days, 17 shows, nonstop. So uh, all right, we're tired. Yes. Uh, since we're so good at keeping secrets here on this panel. Uh, let me uh, let me ask you guys: What is the wildest road story that you can tell at a audience full of strangers? Because Pierre Cashmere <laughs> is dying. 
not 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 since uh, not not since Kermit the Frog was beginning the Muppet Show has anybody <laughs> flailed their limbs so wildly thinking of some shit that happened a, a week and a half ago. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Come on, you gotta give us something. You guys, you guys are our our famous recording artists hold touring around. Hold on, hold on, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. You're going about this. All right, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. Don't exist. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Thing. Okay. Framing it like tough crowd. These guys are pro level. Sure, sure. Everything they say is on the record. Sure. That's true. That's true. Tell you a fairy tale about something that did not happen. Jerkoise Teep. <laughs> a totally different band that they heard we'll, about. We'll workshop the not, name. Yeah. No bad ideas in brainstorming. Yeah. <laughs> but but the point is, it definitely didn't happen to them. Let's try it again. Right, 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 here we go. Break. Okay, okay, break, okay. Break, break, break. Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> so, fantasy world. None of this happened. Imagine it took place at a coffee shop. And what would be? Totally not you guys, right? You guys are good, family wholesome entertainers. It is true. It is true. Uh, uh, but but for other another act that might have been on the road in the last uh, uh, two if, months. In fact, if I remember correctly, Flip Flossy walked up to me. He said, "He said, hey, uh, I don't know what you plan to do on the show, baby, but uh, I would love to tell you a story of another rap group." <laughs> and the adventures they had. And I said, I said, well, that doesn't really belong in our show. And he says, please, baby, it will mean a lot to me. <laughs> and then I said, well, I suppose I'll let you tell this show. Uh, I can't verify whether it's true or not. Nobody can. But it's your story to tell, yes. Clint Flossy. <clears throat> tough crowd, tough crowd. <laughs> We gotta deliberate ourselves. No, right, 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 right. no, no, no. All right, all right. Here, guys, guys, guys. This is gonna seem weird. All right, but do me a favor. I need literally everybody to stand up right now. Yeah, I need please. everybody to stand up. I know it's a little up. bit weird. And then I'm, I'm standing up. With stand you. up now. I need you to turn your backs turn your so backs, you're turn not your backs. looking at turn your backs. Yeah, yeah. That, if you turn your backs, so they're not just looking at you. Privacy, please. Just to make it a little bit weird. Well, never mind. Let us harmonize. <laughs> By the way, I'm watching the Jeep tell each other the first words of stories, and one of them is just waving it off like a pitcher on the mound <laughs> <laughs> each time. And you're like, no, not that. I don't throw that pitch anymore. Yeah. yeah all right, all right. Nobody's right. looking. And now it's just us. Go to sleep. <laughs> Wait. We'll let uh, we Pierre, he'll oh, tell us. Turn more. around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. Wait a minute. That was real weird. Just now everybody turned around. And we really <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, we felt like we were by ourselves, too. Yeah. Like, all right, yeah. We can talk about what's going on. We're, um, you know, <clears throat> respectful. Uh, all right, Gentlemen, all right. But, uh, so, 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 Pierre, uh, now Pierre. presenting our new bit, totally fictitious stories that definitely did not happen to Turquoise G. Yeah, it didn't happen to us. Did oh, not. Right, right, right. The segment. No, yeah. it didn't happen to us at all. Yeah. Uh, stories not from the road. Yeah, not, not from the yeah. road. Yeah. Not, not with us. So I'm, what? So what didn't happen to you guys? No, it's not it's, us. It's, it's a different. It's not group. us. But it's you know, a, uh, a, uh, my book is coming out soon. <laughs> 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 Nah, nah, but um, there's been situations where um, we happened to find out we were loved. Yes. <laughs> Certain cities. Uh huh. I mean, not, not, I mean, not, not us. Not us. Not us. Allegedly. No, no, no. no, no. Well, Allegedly. I mean, listen, listen. Uh, 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 acts, specifically ones that have toured for a little bit, right? right? That have gigantic social media fame, YouTube fame. I've been told, right? We like, told. you know, every once in a while you find. Fans whose passion cannot be contained to just yelling. Yeah, maybe it's sometimes hiding in your room. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it sounded a lot like what you said hiding. Told. What have you been told? So you get done so, with the show. Someone does. One I, does. That you know a rapper who finished a show. I may happen to know a rapper that knows a uh, musical artist. And, yeah. went, <laughs> and went home to his hotel room to discover somebody had been hiding in there. Uh, this may have happened sometime, and maybe the person was over 50 years of age. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Whoever this Maybe. happened to. Veteran experience. Veteran experience. Yeah. Whoever this happened to. Yeah, not us. Yeah. Yeah. Allegedly. Not us. Not us. Uh, no. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Allegedly. As a percentage, how close would that person have smanged it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean. I, I assume uh, it's not you, zero. It's not like Skeletor uh, popped uh, out and said, you want a, you want a bone? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I assume it was slightly better than Ske Skeletor. Is I'll zero. treat you like a pirate and give me that booty. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 100 is uh, uh, just Robert Downey Jr. is like, it's time. And, it, and you're like, yes, and because it's, it's go time. Um, you know, man, things happen sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I've heard, man, what I've heard. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. stories there's around. Story. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, uh, we Y'all got more that uh that drink? Maybe we could. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Who's got a bottle opener? We need a bottle opener. Here, just 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 drink this hundred proof shit. There you go. Uh, there you go. No, there floss there will you go. die. Floss cannot have any of this that. This is a hundred proof? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, one proof. sip and I'm I'm through, man. Yeah. I, I got All right. And then we I get the real story. Yeah. Also, uh, from, we work for CBS. From now. a group that we don't know called I don't know, man, man. Purple van. Or something. <laughs> Purple van. No, there we go. Whenever, whenever some I shit goes down, you know you're gonna hit him up and be like, "Yo, I heard a rumor that Purple van <laughs> had Purple, sex Purple with my van. friend's mom." <laughs> man, Purple man. Van. Purple van. They crazy sometimes. So Purple van gets around. Hypothetically, where would a 50 year old woman hide in your uh, yeah, in, in somebody else's room? In, in a room. In a room. Ah, uh, what, man? <laughs> like um, un under the bed or in the closet or in the rafters or uh, under the sheets? Well, when we walked Behind in, the she door? was on the yeah. dresser. Which on which the dresser. She was on the dresser. What? That's, no, no, that's not hiding. I mean, titties. not that I was there. No. <laughs> <laughs> not no, that I to, was there. to the purple van. Be purple van. Purple know. van. So how does that conversation go? Would you imagine uh -huh. between this person and this other person? Like a reenactment. Because I, yeah. I would imagine, here, if I were to play it out, here, right. uh, uh, I'll be the 50 year old woman. Sure. And I'll, 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 Brian, I'll, Brian, I'll, Brian and Tom will no, be Purple um, Van. I, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be the lead rappers hear, of Purple Van. All right, here we go. Plus 50. Yeah, like, plus uh, 50. Right, here we go. Here we go plus, plus 50. Plus. Maybe 60. All right, here we go. All right, hold on. All right, I was told. This is Purple Van. There you go, right there. Purple Van comes into Ooh, the room man. and says, oh, man, baby. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, uh, another, up, another, man? Another standing ovation, baby. Uh, I, can't, I can't believe we're so great. Purple van leader, I think someone's on your dresser. Oh. <laughs> That's that's <laughs> that's just your imagination, no baby. No purple van front man, I see her. She's 50 plus. Hey, boys. <laughs> Who, baby? Hey, hey, oh my what's God. up, man? I Hold know on. this might seem bold, but this is what bagged me Nixon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ain't you, ain't you the, the cleaning lady in this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Not that oh I my it. God, Flint Flossy, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it's it not Flint, Flint Flossy. If, uh, <laughs> if I could remember, she had... Uh, it's Glint she, Glossy, she man. It's Glint Glossy? Butter. Right, the front man for Purple she, Bag. Glint she, Glossy. She had hot Glint. butter. Man, we wasn't oh, there, Pierre. Yeah. What you talking Stop about? Stop telling yeah. the story, man. Why, what, what are you doing? What you doing, anyway, man? I'm <laughs> looming up with some <laughs> butter. Oh, man. This is, this is my move. Listen, this is not true. I this swear to God. The last time I pulled this one, I was uh, copulating in full while Johnny Carson was on the air. <laughs> Listen, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is if, a legend. Uh, uh, yeah, Alleged, this is a reenactment. Just, a re tell, legend, just, just tell me this. Are you going to keep the purple van trucking? <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 am I here to refuel your tank? Because uh, let me put on this totally real mustache. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm the lead rapper of Purple Van. <laughs> uh, Tom Merritt, why are you here? <laughs> I'm not Tom Merritt. I'm the other two members of your band, that Glossy. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> purple Van. It's Purple Van. Yeah, purple Van. van. That's what purple our band is called. Oh, I'm such a huge Purple Van fan. 
I'm such a big fan of all your video on the YouTubes. Listen. <laughs> All right, baby, look, I'm willing, I'm down for whatever you want, but I have one question. Yeah. Do you have five badges to Dragon Con? <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Again, that was a legend, okay, guys? A, a legend. legend. <laughs> a legend. A legend. Not real. Legend. Not real. Reenactment. Legend. May or may not reflect real events. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay, I have two. Qu uh, first of all, we're about to we're about to do a thing. But first, um, I, I have a question. Um, uh, can somebody come up and tell me if this feels like a genuine wad of two thousand dollars? Yeah, who wants two thousand dollars? <laughs> somebody come up. Volunteer, and come on. All right, all right. This this motherfucker. All right. <laughs> what what, uh, what 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 is this? This is really fucking close. <laughs> So okay, so we d we did the politics podcast, yeah, and then uh, I don't know who who put together the uh, uh, the the money jamboree. Uh, uh, wh 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 what's your name, Brandon? B. Coford, right? B. Coford, put this together. Um, how do you have fucking legit ass counterfeit money? Right, Amazon. Amazon. We were just saying Alibaba. Of course, of course. Not even Alibaba. I, Flint. It really <laughs> shit. <laughs> this shit crazy. It's no, by sorted. the way, by the way, that stack of money is why y'all don't drink before you get paid for the night <laughs> from the promoter. That's exactly <laughs> it. Because you don't want him to be like, hey, I'm sorry, man, we're closing. Here you go. Great job. You guys killed it. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> I certainly hope no 50-year-old women are in my room. Good night. <laughs> there has been a run on butter locally. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 Okay. No, that was some purple van shit. That's fucking. That's Allegedly. some purple van yeah. stories. Allegedly, sixty-five. Allegedly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Allegedly, did okay. she say that? And she made what? noises like, "Ooh, what?" <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Stop telling the story, Pierre. Put the mic down, man. Allegedly. Allegedly, Allegedly Pierre needs down. to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why is he telling the real story? That's what I'm like. <laughs> Stop saying hey, it. Hey, hey, allegedly. Allegedly. No, because by the way, you know that there are vets and there's the newest one to the crew because everyone knew the story. Allegedly. 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 Uh, but only one person's eyes lit up so much I could see it through his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Allegedly. All right. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Oh, that purple man, van. Man, man, it's crazy. Isn't it hot outside? <laughs> it sure is, isn't it? But it is hot outside. Right? <laughs> Plus. Man, All right, man. here's what we're going to do. Uh, normally on uh, uh, our Night Attack panels, we have a little game called Don't Get Brodied. Yeah. Which is competitive storytelling. You have to tell your best story. Uh, so you have the rodeo rules championship by the end of it because we are going to all as soon as somebody thumbs down your story that's it that's a wrap we keep count of how long it goes but we would also like to do something that we have actually never done in and any of our dragon con panels considering this is uh for the moment our last dragon con appearance at least for a hot minute uh it seems like allegedly we should just <laughs> allegedly allegedly it seems like we should also <laughs> butter me up <laughs> We we should open up the field to straight up Q and A, right? So so here's the thing. Uh, as okay. always, rodeo rules. Uh, if somebody can keep time for us, I assume uh, Bryce is somebody. Uh, uh, no, he says no. no. He okay. Said. All right, here I'll I'll, I'll set yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got this. Yeah, we got to think. You, All right, you take it. So here's what. Uh, if you want to ask a question, if you want to play, don't get brodied. Just go ahead and stand up. We are going to throw. This, it's a catch box, it's very light. Uh, just catch it and talk into it. Yeah, you don't need to uh, get into the center. We will just throw it around. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the man who made all the fake money. Let's give the a big round of applause for Pete Coffey. All right, three, two, one, don't get brody. Well, 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 no, he has to say whatever he's doing. Oh, right. Well, I, I yeah. He gets to decide if it's I a question he has or to, I, I've already started the timer. Go ahead, go ahead. I have a question. Yes. Okay, go. Yes. Have you heard of Sniffcast? Sniffcast? Yes, Sniffcast. No. 
And moving on. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, throw it to Venom well, here. Hold on. Is, uh, is that, is it was an inside joke with the podcast thing? track fan. You know that the purple van dudes, like, they ran into a Allegedly. room with 65-year-old buttered up on. like a Thanksgiving turkey. Hold, hold like, on. Allegedly. Glistening. Hold on. Hold on. Allegedly. I'm, allegedly. I'm going to hit Wait, reset. it's allegedly with purple van, too? <laughs> Man, purple van, they crazy yeah. something. Yeah, here we go. All right, yeah. you. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. So, two years ago, I won Don't Get Brodied, and we didn't do it last year, so I'm trying to defend my title. Hey. Ah. Uh, eight and seconds. Okay. So, eight seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Thumbs down. No thumbs down. Eight seconds is the time to beat. <laughs> <laughs> well done, <laughs> Professor Eights. <laughs> so, Wait. Uh, are we going? No. You, that was eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, wait, hold on, hold on. Dragon Con, does he get another shot? Yeah! Okay, you've warned my withered old heart. <laughs> Allow me to restart the time. Little boy, what, how big is the Christmas turkey? Great, go. <laughs> so, this is the story of the most epically bad beach trip that I've ever even experienced a little bit. So it's the tail end of all, the most awesome beach trip, but we're going down there and we get down to the beach. It's the beach that you camp on. Oh! 14, 14 seconds he is the time eight. to beat. 14 seconds. He beat eight. On the streets. Uh, all right, so ask a question or play Don't Get Brodied. Oh. We, uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So it's either or, right? Yeah, 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 either yeah. or, or. Either or. Don't All right, Brody. question or Brody? Yeah, question what? or Brody? Brody, what? please. Brody, Brody please. Brody, okay, please. there we go. All right, your story begins now. I ruined a wedding playing Pokemon Go. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I went to a local park and it has all these poker stops. So I go down this, you know, U-shaped one-way street, but it ends up, it's blocked at the end. So I immediately turn around. I'm like, oh, that's shitty. But then this bus pulls up and blocks the entrance slash exit of that street. And as I'm trying to leave, a bunch of people flood out of the bus in dresses, holding flowers, having tuxedos, and they're flooding towards this field, I guess, to get married. <laughs> and so I'm like, how am I gonna get the fuck out of this situation? So I decided to drive through the field where the wedding <laughs> What? Oh, uh, what? I needed to leave with the bus wouldn't move, so I was like, okay, these people are going towards this field. The field's the only way to leave. That's the other side of the one way. I gotta get there or I'm not gonna be able to leave, so I just plow through it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. So, okay, at what point do you realize the horrific violation of norms that you're committing? Uh, I was stuck there for like 10 whole minutes and I was like, I just wanted to leave and I just did not care. Can, can, you, can you just for <laughs> us, just for us, give us an impression of what your eye contact was? Like, because everybody's looking at you and you get eye contact. How do you non-verbally communicate that, oh, hey, guess I'm driving through your wedding, lady. <laughs> They, gave, they definitely gave me dirty looks, but at that point, I was just so pissed off being there that I just was like, fucking, I'm, I, I'm, yeah. I don't care about your feelings. I'm and, sorry. And you should look at him right in the eyes and said, hey, the good news is I got a zoo bat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. One minute. One minute, 53 seconds. Current reigning champion. We have a contender. Do you have a question or do you have a story for us? Story. 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 All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Don't get, get Brody. I set my lab on fire once. <gasps> oh. Also, I don't know if you mean your lab la laboratory, laboratory. Or, or your Labrador. My Labrador. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm working on getting my PhD, and we are in the science building, and our fire alarms go off once a week, and the fire department said they're going to stop coming to us because we, cause no one leaves the building. In my mind, I would love to believe that the moment they said that, you're like, I smell opportunity. <laughs> 
running my experiments, any normal grad student does, and all of a sudden there's smoke in the hallway, and I see my lab boss running down the hallway, and everybody's running. And I'm at my desk, I'm like, well, I'm not moving. This is never real. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I walk outside, and our lab tech's like, so your room's on fire. Your experiment's on fire. And I'm like, oh. So I walk up the door. <laughs> all right, so you say, your body says, oh. oh. <laughs> What does your mind say? <laughs> yeah. This is a lie. It's the Every reverse R. Kelly. Like, <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, it's science. Like, it's, it'll be fine. So I open the door, smoke comes out. My rats are terrified. <laughs> no, there were living beings? Your rats were terrified? <laughs> so I grab, I run the cart down the hallway. and our well, While it's on fire? I got to <laughs> And then there was a, there, I had to get another cart, and they're like, well, the fire department's coming. I'm like, no, my, dessert, my, my PhD's in there. I'm not leaving this building. So oh, I'm yeah. clearing out my room with fire and smoke in the ceiling coming down while everyone's outside. And then I got in trouble, and I was like, no, I saved the rats, and that's what matters here. <laughs> so now the fire department beep, has beep, to beep, come beep, to beep, us. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> You're pushing a cart with everything on fire, yeah, yeah. and that's a hundred percent of the fire. Yeah. It's it's like it's like you're the Albert Einstein of fire yeah. marshaling, and you're like, what if we just take the fire outside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that's worth a PhD, also, right? I mean, like, for science, like if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in that building. I live in that building, so I might as well like save what I can. Sure. In a blaze. Like, there's no, that's why I want sure. my tombstone. Was signed. So, Did you get your PhD? <laughs> in two years. I Woo! <laughs> two minutes, 38 seconds. Well done. We got somebody in the back. We got somebody in the back. Run on back. God Run damn, on back. your Run lab is on fire. Yeah, all the way in the back. That huge uh, moment. Like what Jesus. is your name? Takia. 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 Uh, do you, you have a tell question a story or ask a story? Yeah, Brody. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, here we go. In three, don't get Brody. So me and my cousin stole my ex's dog because he set our garden on fire. You stole a dog because it set your, I'm sorry, well, it sounded like guard? My ex set our garden on fire. Garden. The garden and on we fire. All, well, I say garden. It's like Three and a half yards of land. Did did did, did the dog should, should you be, should you be set the fire this? or? No no no. They set the also garden. also to be clear for any uh, attorneys in the audience, the this dog. is a true story of something done by Turquoise Jeep. Oh whoa, 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 whoa. Purple van. 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 Whatever. I was 16, so I can't go to jail anymore. I think that's beyond the statutes of limitations. It's true. Uh, a, number one, <laughs> all the best stories contain the sentence, it was when I was 16 and I can't go to jail anymore. <laughs> it's not how it works. They can still so, so there we go. Statute of limitations has, has, has gone up. So, so please rephrase from the beginning. What the fuck happened? My boyfriend's... My ex-boyfriend set our land on fire, so we stole his dog and put all his shit of his apartment outside. <laughs> Okay, so he started it by yes. lighting your yard on fire. Yep. And then you retaliated by stealing his dog and taking all of his shit out uh, to the front of his and house. And he went to jail because he tried to steal the dog back. Man, I am wait, so glad. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait one damn wait, minute. Oh, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait. Hold on. Questions. Listen, wait, um, we wait, only have a um, little bit of, a, of time. Wait a minute, we hold on. only... I'm sorry. No, no, no. Follow-up questions, but I feel like that was a hard pass from the Jeep as soon as the dude went to jail for stealing the dog. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, uh, wait. It was his dog, right? It was his dog. He got... Wait, wait. So you stole his dog, yes. and he went to jail for stealing the dog back. Yeah, because we took the... What had happened was... <laughs> oh, where'd it go? Oh, oh, you know what he started off. What, what had, had happened, happened was, was you know happened. that part. What had nobody, happened was, nobody gets out clean no from a what had happened was. Clean. What had happened was. <laughs> That's one Jeez. where everybody's okay. got blood on their hands All when right. it's a what had happened was. Let's hear the meat of the story. <laughs> She's sweating, boy. She said, um, <laughs> what had happened was. 
Uh -huh. So he had the dog. He never took it to the vet, never got it microchipped. The minute we had the dog, we took it to a vet we knew and got it microchipped under my name. Oh. So the dog is now my property. <laughs> You could do better, girl. You could do better, girl. And this is the part where Jason Bateman him. realized he could launder all that money for the cartels <laughs> in the Ozarks. So when he went to go get the dog back illegally, once again trespassing on our land, we called the cops, who were my cousins, and they took him to jail. Wait, the cops were cousins? <laughs> Where, where is all of this taking place, I want to know? Oh, Chesney, South Carolina. We only have 500 people. You said town. where? Chesney, South Carolina. There's only 500 people. South Carolina. Okay. 500 see, people. See, look how easy it is to get personal information when you're telling an interesting story. I see. <laughs> <laughs> what had happened was. <laughs> well, he was fine. He was out in like two weeks. It was great. <laughs> what? He was out in two weeks? <laughs> he was fine. But well, he went on a holiday. <laughs> oh, my God. So there wasn't a judge, so he oh, had to say because no one would pay his bail. <laughs> All right, a big round of applause. Oh, 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 oh. the dog. That's what oh, I wanted to know. He's like ten now. All right, all right. <laughs> he's still alive. Yeah, the dog? He's, still alive. he's good. Yeah, he's okay. He has to go in for treatment. I think he has mm -hmm. a little bit of a liver, liver problem. <laughs> but but he's now he's cause, running cause for mayor. <laughs> Everybody, a round of applause. Thank you so much. Off the record, three minutes and five, 50 seconds. <laughs> also, I, mean, uh, I, I, I thought it was great how she didn't uh, end the story by uh, hiding under the bed of the uh, purple van. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, who else we got? Who else we got? Here we go. Here. Uh, sir, what's your name? It's Will. Will, would you like to ask a question or play Don't Get Brody? Uh, Brody. All right, here we go. Right. Three, two, Don't Get Brody. All right, so about a year back, uh, my friends and I replaced uh, my friend's grandpa's ashes with Nestle cocoa powder. You know, I thought it was bad with the dog, but you just, yeah. I thought it was bad with the dog. Guys, you want to know what? It's been a great eight years. I thought it was bad. Hold on. Too Hold fucked on. up. Sorry. Hold on. Three Bye. words. <laughs> Bye, Justin. Three words echoing in my mind. To what end? <laughs> what was the vig on the world's shittiest scam? Okay, hold on. <laughs> so, so he had a party, and we all got really shit faced. <laughs> of course, right. He, he got Already, this story is unbelievable. Keep going. He got blackout. And sometime we got the idea that we should spread his grandpa's ashes. And we thought it was a good thing at first. Well, I mean, in that pause, 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 Number one, hold on. How old were you at the point of this story? Like 20. You were grown, man. You were grown. Golly. I mean, but. Scattering the ashes is a thing that people do. Well, sure. Okay, yeah. Normally, I'll tell you Where? what, I, I actually, that's true. I have it written into my will that when I die, Did I want my uh, grandson's shithead friends <laughs> blackout drunk to just do what, 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 the, what they will. Whatever. <laughs> Who am I to define the future? They're yeah. the stewards of a new age, wait, wait. please. Where, where did you scatter them? Just in his backyard, he's got a pond. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't okay. do the sea or some shit. The sea, or you know, somewhere Qu 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 fancy. I'm the not moon twig side face. story. There was definitely when my grandma died. She wanted her ashes scattered in the sea, and my my uncle definitely. We're all sitting there, <laughs> and he definitely grabbed a Ziploc bag with my grandma's ashes, and then he goes to the back. And he goes to dump it out, and all of it lands just on the back poop deck, <laughs> like just, just splat. And then, and then realizing how awkward it is, he does the only thing he could think to do, which is to take his Bud Light and pour it. <laughs> <laughs> For the homies. And it mostly washed her earthly remains into the sea. And was less filling. <laughs> Like, I, I am, I am uh, uh, fairly sympathetic to this situation. <laughs> That's Miller, Justin. That's Miller. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, dilly dilly, keep going. <laughs> so, the next morning, uh, we realized what we did, and we are shitting ourselves. <laughs> He's still asleep, though.
Wait, sorry. Uh, the shame you're feeling, it's, it's for scattering ashes? Yeah. It was a bad idea, and we knew it. Wait. <laughs> why, why is that oh, a bad you, idea? Your boy didn't know you did this when he... No. Oh, y'all cold, man. <laughs> So they're, they're at I his see. friend's house, they get faced, and instead of saying, let's draw dicks on his face, they're they like, say, let's they're scatter like his hey, dog, here's the best thing we should do. Scatter his grandpa's ashes, oh, somewhere cool? At the Arby's? <laughs> at the library? At another place? No. No. In the backyard. The laziest place to spread somebody's ashes disrespectfully. Also, I'd love to believe there's a version, uh, there's a reality, there's a timeline where they like burn a bunch of bread to replace the ashes or something. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. They had a solution. What was it? So before we, uh, he woke up, we went into his pantry and we found a ton of cocoa powder. And we just, there was this baggie that the ashes were in and we just put it in there. And we just put it back in the urn, put it back. He does not know. Oh! Yeah, he, cold wait, blood. You, you, know, um, know. you know you done fucked up, right? You know, Unless you know. he sees this, he doesn't know. You know you done fucked up. Man, I'll tell you what. These purple van stories. <laughs> allegedly. They just keep escalating. Allegedly. 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 Uh, all right. Well, what was that? Four minutes, forty-two seconds. Oh, there yeah. we go. Give him a. No, in fact, boo him. Boo him. Boo. <laughs> no, but but also under your breath, praise him. <laughs> yes. Everybody. All right. Great. Everybody. Everybody on three. Whisper under your breath. But that was good. Three, two, one. All right. <laughs> I would love to believe that we just start a church. <laughs> And that's one of the rituals. <laughs> You're like, but that was pretty rad. Uh, all right, who else is going? What's your name? Allie. Allie, uh, would you like to ask a question or do don't get brody? Brody. Well, I guess this whole like double thing is <laughs> no, stupid. Keep so going. let's no, just no, keep, no, keep, going going brody. Brody. keep going. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Don't get brody. I might have burnt my aunt's house down with a squirrel. What? <laughs> I might have burnt my house down. It sounded like you said with a squirrel. With a squirrel. With a squirrel. Okay, I'm just making sure we're on the same page and we're understanding words in the English language. You said with a squirrel. Uh huh. Like 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 you uh, fucking trained him and he had a backpack and some shit. You know, it's I was thinking the same thing. Chippendale Rescue Rangers, but the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Chippendale, volunteer arsonist. Danger Ch 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 Rangers. Chippendale, professional arsonist. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, I was 10. And <laughs> my sisters caught a squirrel in my aunt's backyard. And they said, hmm, we want to take this home and keep it. So they put it in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> And they put. Wait the a minute. <laughs> Wait. Did the. Why did they want to keep it? They wanted it as a pet. Okay. But it was dead? My family has a problem with animals. Like, we love them too much. Okay. Okay. I have been followed home by a dog, and it has never occurred to me to put the dog in a bag. Never. Well, and bring it home. Our Squirrels don't follow let us home. take it home. So they were like, we're going to sneak it home on the six-hour drive back. In a bag? So in a bag. <laughs> Ziploc bag? No, it was kind of like a duffel bag. It was almost a dog ah, carrier, better. but it was You wasn't. put a squirrel Not in me. a... I was notified later, but then I was like, yeah, that's cool. So yeah, I so it. Purple Van <laughs> puts a squirrel in a duffel bag. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, for a how many-hour drive? Six, but they did that like two or three days. Okay, for the record, I'm sorry if we weren't clear on this. You are not allowed to quote to us verbatim the literal script from National Lampoon's Vacation. All right, <laughs> you know you don't get to. Uh, 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 that's not a real thing. Tell me that's not a real thing. Please say that's not a real thing. What? That this is fake? No, this is very real. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. A big round of applause. Oh, my God. 
All right. Uh, this is going to have to be tight because we only got uh, like eight minutes left. Yeah. So, Unless we do a sit-in, who's up for a sit-in? <laughs> <laughs> well, forget about it. All right. Uh, ma'am, what's your name? My name's Haley. Going for Brody. Haley for Brody. Don't, Don't get Brody. All right, so this is the story of the time I put moonshine in a hookah at a live action role play camp out and we set a Boy Scout campground on fire. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Have you guys of the future. Have they all involved fire this year? <laughs> There's fires and animal deaths. Look. You guys are the future. Thank you so much. <laughs> go, 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 go. All right, so it's really the fault of the people who ran the camp out. They didn't plan anything for after the sun went down. Yeah. Pause, pause, pause. Yeah. All right, you're going to be tempted to ding her yeah. for the excuse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the greater the disclaimer, the greater the story. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, so there we go. The edge, I and believe. I believe in her. And uh, go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, blame deference validated. All Keep right. it going. All right. So I had two choices, and this was totally my fault. I had water, and I had moonshine, and I put the moonshine in the hookah. So the <laughs> then, about half of the camp out. Again, this is live action role playing. So these people are just like gay ass wizards. Wait, you're shit. larping? So, yeah. <laughs> Yes, you're LARPing. They're LARPing. <laughs> yeah, we're and LARPing. And you think, oh this golly. Is, so the this, also, did you just say it's a bunch of gay ass yeah, wizards? I mean, okay, okay, look. <laughs> they got the bro. <laughs> I'm overriding the audience on All this. Right. I want to hear the rest of this. Much, I, am the, I, I was on the board of directors for the gay ass wizards, so they were my gay ass wizards. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. Okay. That was her people. Her people yeah, were, were gay were ass wizards. That's the name of the group. So, yeah. um, baby, <laughs> about half of the camp gets absolutely destroyed off this hookah, right? Because we also forgot to bring food. We had to bring our own provisions. We didn't is, do that. Is, is, is that. is that a thing? You can, you can smoke uh, moonshine? No, you yeah, shouldn't. Um, like some people, some people put wine where the water is supposed to go that's in the hookah, see. right? Yeah, so but it even that's Even that's like, Pushing mild. it. Like, that's like a thing that yeah. like, you're going out of your way. I to can put, tell you it's completely inadvisable. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's a really bad... Because basically you're just vaporizing moonshine and inhaling it directly into your lungs. Yeah. You're, you're, you're basically, huffing moonshine. You're, you're butt chugging into your lungs. Yeah. 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 Basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... So let's reset. You... Yeah. And a cadre of gay-ass wizards yeah. have okay. no food, yet a hookah filled with moonshine, and now you are totally wasted. What time of uh, evening or day is okay, this? Okay, so I don't... They're, they're, it's like a... Because, you know, the moonshine. And then about two in the morning... Whoa, 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 what, what the fuck was... <laughs> that's, that's, that's my memory of the evening. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I thought that was the time of day. And, it was... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it was one of those nights where in the morning it's like you're trying to remember it and it's like a kid drew it with crayon, you know, so I'm a little bit in. Sure, um, sure, sure. Okay, so at about two in the morning, and I remember this part, I kicked everybody out of my camp because I was done with them. So, uh, but our fire was really awesome. We'd built it up real high and it was in a, ra it was in a raised fire pit. You were high. So... Everybody. That's the thing a, a high person says. Okay. That's somebody who swallowed mushrooms and it's then possible. said, but then I I'm discovered this 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 uh, spider web, but you don't understand. It was the best spider web I'd yeah. ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying I went to bed, but everybody else beholding the fire. It was the, the best fire, bed you'd ever this, been in. Yeah, I fell directly into it. But so the people re remaining in my camp after I said, go back to your own camp, said, we're going to take the fire with us. So, so they transport. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm halfway. Purple I'm halfway. I'm halfway. You better, you better wrap it up, So three of these stupid assholes tried to pick up my fire pit, and I could see it from inside my tent. It was like this glowing ball of orange. It like raised up and went boop, 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 and then all of a sudden just whoosh. Like so they like a UFO. Yes, yeah, like a UFO. So they yeah, I ran out of steam. I ran out of steam. Big well round done. of applause. Well done. All right, we have time for one more. I think Babs Bunny or somebody in the back there. In the back, in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. All right, what's your name? Allie. 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 
Uh, don't don't get, bro- get Brody. All right, so what had happened? One time in dispatch at 6 a.m., get a phone call from a guy saying he had handcuffed his boyfriend to the bed, had tried to remove the vibrator by pliers and a vacuum cleaner, and it wouldn't come out. Excuse me, what's your line of work? I used to be a dispatcher. Okay, all right. I just had to. Sure. <laughs> I know that it wasn't like the Psychic Friends Network. Exactly. <laughs> Call me. In Chattanooga, so you know, let the de- de- near, 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 near. Um. Okay, all right. So you are a police dispatcher, and the call that, that, that comes into you is my boyfriend's handcuffed, and I can't get the vibrator out with either pliers or a vacuum. And it's still on. And it's still on. I mean, was there a I lot mean, of feedback? So <laughs> what was what was the butter situation? <laughs> it's a South. It could have been Crisco. Who knows? So I, uh, is this the moment you look at the table and you're like, is this uh, Jerry? Is this a 1027 or a 994? We didn't uh, know. So at that point, we then sent three sheriff's officers in first because we didn't know what the fuck was going on. That's, that Wait, sounds three. like somebody <laughs> who's in. Yeah. It gets better. It gets better. Okay. By the time the three sheriff's deputies show up, there is nobody with this guy. He is handcuffed, butt naked, face down on the bed. Okay, so here's the the question. Tom is in the middle of saying she ditched him, she left. But meanwhile, I'm wondering. He, he, he. 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 Oh, whatever. He. I mean, I'm assuming uh, it's a fight club situation and no. both sides are the same character. Oh. Like, hello, 911, it's somebody who definitely is not me. Uh, somebody who is not me is currently handcuffed. It's not She's me. nodding. She's nodding. Also, oh. I have appointments and I might not be here by the time that, you get that here. Is what we were it's hoping. me, somebody who is not me. Go ahead. So by the time three sheriff's deputies show up to secure the scene, because we thought it was bullshit, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh. We're just trying to get through the end of shift. So they get there. He is all alone. So they have to use their, their keys to unhandcuff him. Then we get EMS in. The guy ends up having to have surgery. Did- Hold on. We never found his boyfriend. <laughs> so this might have been this might have been a Tyler Durden. Uh, <laughs> so you're saying his boyfriend is Tyler Durden? No spoilers. <laughs> I'm not not saying it. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what surgery would make it e- like. It seems like there's one very don't, simple don't, egress. Don't, don't don't even think from about that it. situation. Don't even get that further. Yeah. Don't even don't even. No, you, you think that until you're in Purple Van and you're faced <laughs> with this situation. <laughs> And they say, they say we need your kidneys, baby. <laughs> oh, no, no, it, no, it was kind of like, you know, you stick you your head in the, on the, in the black market. No, it's kind of like you stick your head in the staircase and it ain't coming back out. <laughs> why? Why did, you tell, why did you make that visualization? Why did you make it? Why did you make it visualize? Big round of applause. Three minutes, 20 seconds. Well done. Two more, two more. All right, go what? ahead. What's your name, ma'am? Courtney, do us a favor. Don't get Brody. Don't get Brody. All right, this is about a funeral. I was in fifth grade, and my aunt's dad died, which is sad. We all know it's sad. I'm a little drunk, by the way. (laughs) Okay. I can tell. You've done an amazing job of threading this stone needle. (laughs) Like, we're in, but also scared. Go. (laughs) So, you know, we all want to get out of school, if we can, obviously. So I'm like, funerals rock, which was like not a good thing. (laughs) Well, we get to my aunt's funeral's dad funeral, and we're all like, this is really sad. I get up there, I got to sneeze. Well, I sneezed a little boogie on this man. You sneezed a booger on the deceased. I sneezed a boogie on the dead. You You made him disneezed. I mean, I disneezed like a motherfucker. I think Brian just brodied himself. All right, one more. And we got then, time. We got time. We got time. We got this. Oh, we got this. <laughs> Kmart Brian Ibbett, what's up? 
All right, do us a favor, everybody. Don't get brooded. At least Kmart's still in business and not Sears. Uh, <laughs> Yo, big shots to Sears. <laughs> Fuck Sears. <laughs> so this is a story, and my lovely wife here doesn't even know this yet, how I'm fairly sure I made myself an pause, enemy. Pause. <laughs> First of all, your wife was great in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Second of all, this is some real stuff going down. Yes, it is. All right. Also, ahead. also, uh, can you have your wife stand up just so we can watch her reaction more thoroughly? Yeah. What, uh, what, what's your wife's name? You could give a fake name. It doesn't matter. Uh, purple. Purple and Van, ladies and Purple gentlemen. Purple Van. Purple and audience. Van. All right. Allegedly. Van? Allegedly. 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 Van, what are you theoretically, totally not for reals, confessing <laughs> this in is front of uh, uh, everyone? Theoretically, how I can no longer go to several blocks in downtown Clearwater, Florida. <laughs> Uh, because I pissed off the Church of Scientology really fucking good. <laughs> okay. All right, quick side jag. Mm -hmm. Tom has told me. Yes. He said, uh, I, I saw a magazine at Tom's place, and I was like, uh, what's this, bro? And he said, uh, It's a Scientology oh. magazine, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but it's in your house. Like, yeah, they will not stop sending them to me, Brian. <laughs> and I say, yeah, but but when did this start? And when he's, I was in Champaign, Illinois, and they keep following me to every change of fucking address, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, well, do you, like, update them on where you are? No, never. I no, try very actively out. to keep them from knowing where I move. And I've yeah. moved 24 times in 18 years, Brian. <laughs> they keep following me. I'm moving again right now. I have no idea if they'll keep following me. <laughs> I mean, that's on you for keeping all them body thetans and shit. <laughs> they all will right. Find all right. You. Uh, they go find go ahead. Uh, uh, right. So, uh, I used to work in downtown Clearwater, Florida, and um, for a place, obviously, that famous rappers would go to. Um, best Buy. Uh, yes, Best Buy. Um, so, one day I'm walking to lunch, and I get surrounded by this group of Scientologists, and they do their Scientologist thing. They, all of them kind of simultane simultaneously they turn around. They freestyle rap. Yes. They uh, freestyle audit you. Yes. With, yes. with a personality <laughs> quiz. So, you feel guilty about your father. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do feel guilt. You're right, I do. Uh, so, I get angry because they won't leave me the fuck alone. I had, to, I had to get back to work. I missed my entire fucking lunch because they wouldn't leave me alone. So... I tell oh, my, oh, I tell oh, my, <laughs> okay. She waiting, she waiting, she waiting. Like, would you like in my, the version you're telling me of this is like, hey man, I'm just trying to get back to Best Buy, and all of a sudden a bunch of these Scientologists are like, -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> So, Sinu, 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 When you're a Sinu, the Sinu all the way. <laughs> so you say that, but it's not enti it's not entirely untrue. I'm just walking down like they like split they, they split the seasons a whole bunch of them, and they simultaneously turn and look at me, and then they go on their pitches. Um, and then so you're too critical. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so do, 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 do. I get so bitches, angry. Bitches. I was so hangry and I couldn't eat at my at my desk. So I go home and I tell my lovely wife that I had to work that weekend. <laughs> so <laughs> I decide that it was a better idea to. Um, you sweating? <laughs> find myself some things that are now only legally medicinal uh, and medicinally legal in Florida. Holy <laughs> shit. This Melatonin. Is a, this is a for real <laughs> confession. And, I was uh, not prepared for this. So, so okay, well, if I'm following the yes, story so far, you were attacked by a band of Scientologists. Correct. And, and then the next day, yes. the, the obvious uh, response was to... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't know what clicked in my head that I thought this was a good idea, but fuck it. Uh, so I get my way For back the purposes of, of this show, it's the best idea I just ever need had. everybody who is just an audio listener to understand the physical tableau that is happening before <laughs> us right now at the Marriott A601 and 602. 
Number one, there is somebody who is very nervous telling this story, <laughs> not only because he is in front of a lot of people, but yes. there is a look that I would classify as classically stern. <laughs> into his face as this goes on, sir. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, she wants that mic. You, you get to be one of, well, I guess now everybody gets yeah, to be everybody. some of the first to know. Um, we're actually pregnant right now, so this is just <laughs> great for everybody oh. to say this right now. I think what uh. she needs is all of us to shout congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Mazel Thank you. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Blurch. If this is the last episode, at least it <laughs> lives on. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. So, <laughs> the, the pain... What the fuck is happening? Jerry, you know I, when I got the microphone, some weird shit was going to go down. I, 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 I want to break this down. So, the pain of having a bunch of, of, of privileged white people uh, explain to you <laughs> your own pain yes. was so much... That you had to, you, uh, yeah, you decided to get some illegal weed and, yeah. and, and, and you smoked the weed, I assume. Yes. Allegedly. Allegedly. There you sure. Go. There you go. I went some, on some the guys in a purple <laughs> van showed up. Allegedly. And, Allegedly. And then what? Okay. So. For I, the record, I think your wife was not fooled at all. I think she already <laughs> knows all of this. I think none of this is news to her. Keep going. Um, I never told her this story, so at least there's that. Um, so I make my way back down to downtown Clearwater, and on Saturday afternoons at downtown Clearwater, Why Florida. By the way, down Clearwater, Florida, is the uh, center of Scientology. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, All right, City Hall, moving along. <laughs> Jesus, I yeah. think we got that with uh, the attacking oh gangs. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. So we. Uh, so I go down there and I get into one of their giant ass festival things that go on every Saturday afternoon, where they take over several city blocks. Wait, 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 wait. So wait, you went back to the Scientologist? Yes! <laughs> Again, I don't know where the fuck this idea came from for me to do this. So you got high. Yes. And then went back to the Scientologist. Yes. Okay. For what purpose? More, 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 more importantly, you found yourself, you're like, I feel threatened by the Scientologist. I have a solution. Uh, and then uh, you smoke weed and went so back? The, the better, the, so... The, yeah, I'm fucking high. So the better part of this is my normal work attire is exactly fucking Scientology appropriate gear. You work at Best so, Buy. Yes, at Best Buy. So I look like a fucking Scientologist going into here. So at this time, I'm just kind of floating around, just talking oh, to people hi. and everything like this. And eventually, <laughs> and eventually, we get to a point where everybody wants us to kind of do this confessional bullshit thing because this is what they do for the lower OTs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we get in there. It's OGs. Yes. Oh, OG. Here's OT3 on the Rainbow Bridge. Give it up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who's on the bridge of total freedom? Put your hands up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you're on the list. Go ahead. I, I get it. I get in there and I start. I start just doing this bullshit story about everything, and eventually it just ends up like me. Bobo. What is your goal? What I is don't your goal? Know. Like, so like, you're like, just like, wandering yeah, 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 yeah. around a bunch of Scientologists so, high as fuck on a yes. Saturday. <laughs> But the issue is, my dumbass decided that I'm gonna make put a bunch of fake information down on their little sign-in sheet, except for my phone number. <laughs> so what were you reaching for? I don't, I don't know. I legitimately don't, I don't understand what drug. my end goal was. But so eventually, oh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not. Wrong. Oh. I don't, I don't know where it goes from here. I mean, we're sort of, uh, I don't know if I'm succumbing to the sunk cost fallacy, but we're eight and a half minutes into the story. Did you like shit on their walls or something? Like, I was really trying to get to the meat of this. Like, like, I mean, listen, so it was a shaggy Scientologist dog story, but I think that tonight for our final Dragon Con, CJ is our winner. <laughs> Ah, uh, there was so many good ones, man. I don't know. I mean, that was well. No, no, he went the longest. So th those are those are the rules. Right. Those are the rules. Uh, the uh, rules. If you guys, the Turquoise Jeep Award uh, uh, for who had the best story, who would you guys award with the best story tonight? The ashes. Everybody. No, said I feel bad saying that was the best bad, story. Bad. So, uh, <laughs> oh man. 
ashes because it's right now ashes. that guy still doesn't know. It's like the that's cool. actually yeah. fucked up. That's like there's a really that, that that's good, actually a to be to to be continued story because yeah, he don't like know. It's yet. still continuing. It's a part three to that. Because by yeah no yeah you, you want to know what part three starts with? So I'm listening to this comedy podcast. <laughs> I said, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you did what? Uh, so uh, we got a weird thing where it's like normally this is when we have to be chased out, but I found out that we have extra room. Do you want to do like genuine Q&A for a little bit? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Do, do, do you? Guys, you are but, there any Goosebumps fans in the house? <laughs> okay, so because we have some extra time, we'll, we'll, we'll just goof around. Anybody who has a real question, whether it's about uh, uh, NSFW, Night Attack, or, or DTNS, or Turquoise, or uh, Purple Van. Uh, yeah, allegedly. Like, like, like allegedly. Uh, just allegedly. Real talk, new segment, and go. Okay, were you so freaking mad when he did, like, when he shaved all his beard and left his mustache for the game? Yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, <laughs> you is ma'am, actually, what, what is, is, what is your name? Becky. Becky? Yeah. Uh, Becky is asking my wife, Ashley, <laughs> Deep when, I, when I shaved my beard into a mustache for a summer for a Kickstarter I was doing, <laughs> It looked awful, but uh, uh, the the question was to my wife whether or not she was pissed. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Becky. Uh, <laughs> also, for the record, and this is something that I feel like just needs to be out there, he did it in the service of quite possibly the best single joke I've ever written. <laughs> <laughs> when I die, I just put this on my tombstone, uh, uh, Quote, I'm bad rapping Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here, uh, wait, wait, what was hey, I'm here to say, you, hey, everybody, hey. have you heard the news? I'm bad rapping Hitler and I hate to rhyme. <laughs> so good, right? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's the best. I actually catch myself saying it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, who has it next? Yeah. Well, to have done this for so many years, is it surreal that this is going to be the last one for a while? Uh, oh. Of course, you said real fucking questions. What do you want me no, to No, 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 that is yeah. real. I don't know, Brian, yeah. go ahead. No, I, you know what? That's a really good point because I've only written one really good rap lyric. <laughs> Hey, everybody, have you heard of the news? <laughs> this is the last night attack, and I hate to rhyme. <laughs> you uh, still have only written one good <laughs> rap lyric. I don't know. This, like, I, we're, 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 where are you at on this? I mean, here's, here's what we know for sure, is that this costs us a billion dollars every year, and we never make any money, and we say no to a lot of other things during it. And so, uh, at the very least, I think we'll take a little bit of time off, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But I mean, the fond memories, of course. Oh my God, nothing but fond memories is yeah. the best. It's the best. I yeah. mean, it's like it's like it's like a vacation to Hawaii. Like like like, is it true that you, after going to Hawaii on vacation for nine years, are not going to go back to Hawaii? Uh, yes, yes, it yeah. is. Uh, no, just, absolutely. Me, Look, hey, you know, I can give y'all some perspective. Yeah. After eight years of Dragon Con, Veronica and I made that exact same decision for that exact same reason. Yeah. So just wait three years and then parachute in one day into somebody else's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right. This guy gets it right here. This guy fucks. <laughs> all right. We got Zach. We got Zach. What's up, Zach? Hey, all right. So we've had BB Live show. We've had SW show. We have all of our Diamond Club. We have Night Attack. Here's my big question for you. Fuck you guys. Um, when are we going to have a collaboration with Old John Smokey and uh, uh, Turquoise Jeep? I don't yeah. know. I don't know why you pointed at Tom yeah, when you said old. Yeah, Tom that's that weird. weird. That's certainly not. Really cool. Yeah. Uh, Jeep, are you guys gonna do a podcast or something? I think we need to do a podcast. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise if you would immediately subscribe to a turquoise Jeep podcast. Oh, you do. Especially when you're telling stories like that, Jesus. Allegedly. Not about allegedly. you. Allegedly. 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 That's allegedly. the name of the podcast. I look forward to the whole That's segment. That's the name of the podcast is allegedly. <laughs> 20, 20 allegedly years. with the Jeep. Allegedly. Actually, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Riddle rid rid me this. All right, Justin. Kill, Mary fuck your own impressions. 
Wait, are, 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 are you going to give me three of them, or no, I have to think all, of my all own all of three? Your own three. All right. Yeah. One to kill, one uh, to kill, one to yeah, You know what? I'll go first. Oh, fuck the shit out of Captain Morgan. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. My <laughs> I, I would not kick you out of bed for eating crack. <laughs> <laughs> I would marry John Stossel. A lot of people say that I'm marriage material. After all, I've been a journalist for over 20 years and I've won many awards. Brian Brushwood wants to get up in this ass. I asked Brian why. <laughs> I straight up would slit the throat of R.L. Stein. Oh. It's this fine. Is... He'll haunt me for the rest of my days. <laughs> this is why I live alone. I'm R.L. Stein. I prevent surprise murders from Brian Brushwood. Any Goosebumps fans in the house? Disappointed in you guys. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we got we got a hand up. Yeah, over here. more questions. More questions. Go go go. Brian, this is for you. Yeah. Of your new compound, what is the one feature you like the most and the least? I, I, I would say the lack of a septic tank. I was thinking sewer-related material of some sort. Yeah. By the way, Brian bought an amazing, beautiful, majestic plot of land that literally all of their sewage needs for the past forever have been in a literal shit pipe to nowhere. Can, can, I, can I... Can I... Can I... Confess something. Sewer, uh, sewer scope. <laughs> we, we've talked recently about the, the drama, uh, with, uh, medical drama, legit medical drama with my brother. He was in yeah. a coma for a long time and all this stuff. Uh, after visiting my brother in a coma, like, like, like with, with looking like Neo from the Matrix with a bunch of fucking tubes down his throat or whatever, you don't know how to process that. And a lot of weird ass shit uh, bubbles up. And I, 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 I visited my brother in a fucking coma and I went to uh, the, the property, and I was just overwhelmed by this, what the fuck does it matter? We're all just dust that exists in a feedback loop for a few seconds in the universe, and then we evaporate. Fuck everything, fuck whatever. This used to be a nudist colony. <laughs> and I legit took off all my fucking clothes <laughs> and ran around naked on the seven acres and fuck you if you judge me for this. It was cathartic, it was precious, and I regret nothing. I only told Bonnie about this. <laughs> she didn't know I was going to share it with you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, so then, obviously, the worst part is Poison Ivy. <laughs> 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 All right. Any other questions? Questions? Uh, is there going to be a movie draft minute tonight? No. <laughs> Fuck that game. Yeah, here's your movie draft minute. John Trucker won. Up, All right, up, we got, wait, we got one yeah, last, yeah, one yeah. last. To, to your left, Ashley. To your left, to your left, to your left. There he is. There front, front, is. front, 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 yeah. front, front. Catwoman. This is a shitty question. I just, I have to fucking pee so bad from drinking, but I don't know when this is going to end, and I want to make a timely exit. <laughs> please, please go. You have permission. Just take off all your clothes and run around seven acres. Yeah. Get the zipper, just, the, I can't reach the first inches. All right, look, I, I, I can tell a wrap-up when I hear it. Look, uh, Justin. Uh, wrap yeah. it up, B. That's what she said. Justin, final thoughts. Man, Dragon Con has been one of the best experiences of my entire life. Week after week, it's like a family reunion. Uh, yeah. like, like, like year after year. Uh, being here, being and seeing so many familiar faces, it is truly the most precious thing that I think has defined it's been the touchstone of a BB Live show, of NSFW yeah. and, 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 and Night Attack. Uh, 
we're fans of you guys, and we think it's pretty great that year after year you guys keep being fans of ours. Thank you. Uh, true story. Eight years ago, Brian and I used to fuck around they were on Skype. Almost, that was almost a fucking swell, and you fucking shit stomped it. It was... <laughs> the fuck, bro? Oh, I'm sorry. Your standing ovation two seconds ago wasn't enough. Uh, well taken. <laughs> <laughs> Eight years ago, Brian and I fucked around on Skype and had a few people watch it on whatever platform we were watching it on. The first time that I ever thought that this show uh, would change my life was at Dragon Con. We showed up into a tiny room in the Hilton. Uh, nobody, one dollar William in the back, he was the one who booked us initially. Uh, he, he, he brought us here and we filled that room times four on nothing but us fucking around on the internet. Like that was, we weren't part of a network, like it was just what it was. And, and that was the moment that like literally that weekend, that weekend I had a career, I met my wife, everything changed. Yeah. Like, my life was different fundamentally. And that's because of you. So if you're clapping, it's you. Keep clapping and clap louder and give me a standing ovation because Brian got one. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. But also, yours is a lesser standing ovation because mine was genuine. Yours was forced. <laughs> Let's just put that on the record. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is not bye forever. This is just see you later, but from Night Attack, Turquoise G, Tom Merritt, see you next Tuesday. Woo! Die in a fire. There we go. Oh, you dragon come! Attack is through. Is there something that I did? Is there something I can do? attack is done my heart has been broken the depression's just begun brian brushwood every time you leave i wanna hurt myself by pissing off some bees i'm allergic to bees also we're gonna have bees at the property yes oh Justin Robert Young Every time you go I get so sad That I wanna Drink a warm glass Of Drano He's allergic to Drano too Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack, Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, I love you. Look out for Allegedly, the new Purple Band podcast. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>